Hey there, welcome to eFish and I'm Rodney. Today we're still down here in the basement. It's been a little cold and icy and snowy lately so we haven't been able to go fishing but we're going to do another uh, float and fly today so y'all hang on and let's get to it. So for this build we're going to use the same uh, jig head and hook in it so it's a do it walleye jig with a, it's a 1 16th with a number two 5318 owner hook in it and uh, we just cut the collar off or we used the well we used the RTV silicone to to fill in the collar on the cavity and then we put the hook in the mold and then we went through the molding process and we put some Alewife powder paint on it and then just stuck some eyeballs on it and that's all we got for the uh, jig head so the next thing we have here is just some white craft fur and we're going to use that on the belly we also have some gray craft fur and we're going to use that on the back and then we've got our uh, flash boo that we're going to use to add some flash in it that's the only three materials that we're going to use today all right start this fly off here we're just going to take some thread and we're just going to lay a little bit of a base down just to give something for that hair to kind of bind to. All right, T take our craft fur here to get some hair out. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a comb and I'm just gonna comb a little bit of this up, try to separate it out. And I'm just going to take this tuft we got here and I'm just going to take it and cut it as close to the there that I can. Now, when you have your craft fur, you want to take the, end, the ends here that are furry and you just want to pinch them and then you want to take your other hand and pull all of this dubbing out because you don't want that in your fly it'll just make it bulky and won't do very good so we've got our little tuft of hair here that we're going to put on the belly and we've pulled all of that uh, extra dubbing out so what we're going to do we're going to kind of lay this on here and see about how much of this we want to be on there. I'm going to hold my finger about where I want that. And then all I'm going to do is take my pair of scissors here and just cut a, cut all of that out even just like that now you don't want to let that go because you've got it all even to tie on your fly all I'm going to do I'm going to pinch that around the shank of the hook and push it up there and I'm just going to take a couple real light wraps here I'm going to kind of move that into place where I want it, just like that. And then when I get it where I want it, I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to give it a couple real tight wraps on there. Hold that on there, just like that. So now we're just going to do the same thing with this piece of gray here that so we've got our piece of gray here then we're just going to hold this down here like this and pull all of this dubbing out of it because we don't want that to be all up in our fly so what we're going to do is we're going to rotate our fly around remember the top of the 
hook point is going to be the top of our fly, so we want our dark part on that. We're just going to measure that about right there. <laughs> Cut that off and do the same thing. We're just going to lay it down there around the hook shank. Then just do a white wrap around it till we get it about where we want. And then we're going to put another couple of tight turns on that. Now, I want a little more gray in that, so I'm going to get another little piece here. And we're just going to keep doing the same thing. Pull that dubbing out. Kind of measure our, where we want things. Snip that off. Same thing, just a real lot wrap. Position the hair where you want it. And then just give it a couple of tight on that thing right like that and I think that's pretty well gonna have our fly right there we just add, need to add the flash boo and you could take that thing and if you don't want to put any flash boo in it you can finish it off with a knot and fish it just like this but we're gonna put some flash boo in it all right so we've got our flash boo and we're just gonna pick one strand here Pull that one strand out and set the rest of it aside. Kind of straighten this thing out. Just pick where you want it. There it goes. Just give that a light wrap. Take your long piece, pull it back towards your hook shank. Add another wrap. You just keep doing this. Put as much of that in there as you want. And this stuff's kind of hard to see sometimes. it in there until you got it the way you want it. Like so. Pull too much thread. And then when you get it the way you want it, just give it some tight wraps down through there. it all up all right so here we go we just got an old piece of fishing line we're going to do that knot I'm rotate this thing back around we're just going to double our fishing line over and lay it on here Give it about 10 to 20 wraps. And we're going to do them pretty tight. And then when we get done, snip that off and hold that. Put our fingers through the loop. And then we're just going to. there and I'm 
I've never had one of these come undone. And then just click the tag in. That's going to be your fly. And I guess the last thing to do, make sure you cut all your flashaboo pieces where they're all. Well, there's our uh, craft hair floating fly. It's pretty simple. It's gray and white with a little flash of boo in it. And uh, I probably caught more fish on a float fly on that color right there than I have any other ones. So anyways, I'm Rodney with e Fish, And if y'all liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Go down there and hit that subscribe button. We're on our road to a thousand. So anyways, hopefully this weather's going to break and we're going to get to the lake here in a little bit. But anyways, we'll see y'all out there. We're out.